Hi, welcome to the Advaita Decoding Reality podcast. In today's episode, we will delve deep into the science of manifestation and we will understand why God always says yes. We will explore this and we will understand the significance of our thoughts, feelings, emotions and our belief systems and we will also learn how we can consciously take control of our lives and our destinies. So recently as I was browsing through YouTube, I found a short clip from Neil Donald Walsh. He said something very profound and very significant. He said to understand how manifestation works and to understand how we create our lives we need to understand that god simply says yes god doesn't know any other word and god simply says yes for whatever we think for whatever we feel and whatever we believe so whatever you think about yourself whatever you feel about yourself and all the belief systems that you hold about yourself and about the world will eventually come true because god says yes for everything so if you think you are intelligent you are powerful you control your life you make how much ever money you wish you create value in the society then god says yes at the same time if you think you cannot do it if you think that your income and your health is not in your control if you think that the society is not fair if you think things will always go wrong for you then god will say yes for that too because god only says yes i'm paraphrasing here but this is what he basically said and this is very profound and i will explain you why this is in fact true if you look at anybody's life the deepest thoughts and feelings and belief systems they hold within themselves is reflected as different circumstances different events and different situations in their life so the world is simply mirroring our intentions the universe is simply reflecting back to us our own personality this is what we need to understand and this is what we need to accept because this is in fact the truth but what is the logic behind it Let us talk about the logic behind manifestation and law of attraction. As per the teachings of Advaita and non-dualism, we are that God or pure consciousness and this universe is nothing but a projection in that consciousness. So just like how when we sleep we go to dream and dream different dreams, that pure consciousness or God is experiencing itself through this projection of the universe. and in our truest essence we are that infinite consciousness and the nature of this infinite consciousness is that it is limitless it is all pervading it is eternal and it is abundant it is abundant because it doesn't have any limits to it whatever is limitless is naturally abundant so all the suffering and all the pain and all the limitations that we are experiencing in this universe is because of the limitations and the limiting beliefs that we hold within our minds so that pure consciousness within itself has projected the universe and is experiencing that universe by putting itself in an individual human being and through this it is experiencing its own creation from an individual perspective so this is what we need to understand about the nature of reality as per non dualism we in fact are limitless and eternal and are all pervading but because of our identification with this body and mind we are experiencing this world in a limited way once we come out of it once we come out of maya we will see this universe for what it is we will see it as pure consciousness and we will see ourselves to be that pure consciousness now with this let us understand how manifestation works now if that god or pure consciousness is limitless and is all pervading and is eternal and if that pure consciousness is having this temporary experience as a human being 
by its identification with the body and mind and is experiencing the world that it has created for itself then every intention every thought every belief system that each one of us hold is the intention of god since god only exists since i only exist as the universe every intention of mine and every thought of mine and every belief system that i hold is the intention of god and the universe itself is an expression of consciousness or the expression of god so whatever intention i hold must naturally come into being or the universe must naturally show it to me or reflect it to me because the universe is also that pure consciousness and i am also that pure consciousness and so whatever i think whatever i feel has to find manifestation in some way either in a subtle way or in a more direct way through a physical manifestation so this is why we need to be extremely careful about our thoughts feelings and emotions we unconsciously let negative tendencies and negative thoughts come into our minds and we dwell on them for very long and that is why it is very important for us to break out of unconscious thought patterns realize ourselves to be that pure infinite consciousness and to consciously think and feel all day long through all this we can cultivate a new positive personality for ourselves consciously and by doing so we will naturally manifest a positive life for ourselves and our families